All right, hello and welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and today's lesson in Photoshop deals with resolution. Okay, I want to have this discussion right now before anything occurs, because right now I've been giving you pictures on, you know, at a very set rate. Those those pictures are high res, but what I'll get is I'll get students that start turning in things to me that look very pixelated and like junk because you know they've gone on the internet and got pictures and uh, they've probably warped those pictures in different ways and then turned into a, an assignment you know that's good and all but uh, make sure you know as you're doing your creative stuff to always be wary of resolution okay and I'll show you a difference between resolution and what you need to look out for Okay, I'm going to do a search for trees on Google. And usually what will happen is you'll have this on. So here's a picture of a tree. It says all image sizes. And again, this is Google image search. So I'll go to a tree and then I'll go to this full size image. I'll say this. Okay, so I'm going to right click and copy this. And I'm going to bring it file new. OK, edit, paste. Okay, and now I'm going to go get a tree the other way. Extra large images. Okay, by going in here, I can find a really nice tree. Let's see here. And I had one picked out before. It's actually kind of bushes, but it was a very nice shot here. Don't worry, whoever's pictures these are, if you're lame enough to actually, you know, do something about me copying, pasting, and teaching somebody these pictures, pretty sad. So right click, copy them, file, new, okay, edit, paste. I promise not to sell your tree picture to anybody. Okay, so here we go. Our first tree here. If you go zooming in on it, you'll find that instantly in the little navigator window, you'll see all kinds of little pixelating nodes. And we're talking about the stair step stuff that occurs on edges of shadowed areas. In this picture, if I go zooming in, the stair stepped areas, let's get a shadow region, happen when I have to zoom in very, very close, like right here. I get Here's the nodes here, and look at how small the nodes are here in this area. Okay, now the fact of the matter is these pictures are both the same. They're both the resolution of 72. So if I go to image size, I can pull up 72 dots per inch. The difference between these pictures are actually the size and dimensions of it. Okay, so this is the size of a postcard. So 6 by 4. And the other one if I look at it, is the size of a painting, just about, so 33 by 25. So being that it's that size and has the same amount of pixels, or, you know, it's got all this information packed into a very big area, if I was to go file, print, and I was going to say, well, Maybe I want to print this the size of a postcard, which I can just scale it fit media or just type in uh, the width of four. Now, when I go to print this out, it's going to be amazing looking because what I have done is taken a very large picture and shrunk it down to a very small size, thereby crunching the resolution deeper into the picture. Okay. Now, the difference here, though, with this tree, if I go to image and I go print, and I can never find that print here in, oh yeah, I guess that would help, huh? We used to have print with preview in the other one, but now we don't, so. Okay, now if I did four here, the fact is that, you know, I haven't done it any justice. I haven't made any kind of miraculous change of the picture or made it any better because I've just taken it and shrunk it down just a little bit. If I go to print it out, it's still going to look like junk. Okay, it looks good on the internet and it's optimized well for the internet, but as far as print goes, it's a very poor quality image.
Okay, so in our next segment here, I want to show you what we can do with low res segmentation on a picture compared to, you know, high res stuff and, and why we use it in art. Because this, as a final shot, looks really well. I can just print this out. And to manipulate it in any way gets really tedious and tiresome. We can do it, and actually it's easy. But if we were to go in here and maybe paint some fake trees in here and use this as a background, it's very easy because this is a very low res image. And I'll show you that in the next segment here.